hear it there, when it finally cuts through and uh, it's not cutting anymore, it speeds up. So you can kind of tell what's happening. Uh, it just requires a tightening up the, the spring at that point. It would have burned it up. The only solution I could really think of would require me to redesign this and add a gear to it so it's running slower and the motor can run faster because basically I'm overworking the PWM due to the drag. It's cutting fine. There's just a little other issues that I've got to deal with here. It's pretty hard to judge the depth on this. It ran until it stuck, so now I have to pull off just to know where I'm at. I have to pull some of it off. It really doesn't matter because it's going to be in layers anyway, so. But you can see it's perfectly clean. The edge, it's working exactly the way I needed it to. So, just have to see if I cut all the way through. I, it's hard to tell, but you can see here that it makes a perfect cut. So I am having a little bit of issue. I can't cut all the way down through this with the blade because of the friction created by both sides of the cut. So I'm cutting down this far and then rolling it off because they're all layered together anyway. It doesn't really matter if it's continuous. Uh, but I have noticed that once I cut that first cut, this cut looked like it went a little more, it went a little deeper than the other cut. And you can see how deep it is. And I'm just rolling it off on a stick here. So once I've got that part done, I can start building the stator. Well, it's been going pretty good. I've been rolling it off on these uh, tent pole things, and uh, it was going great. And then I started having problems. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And what happened is it cut right through the roll. <laughs> you can see that right there. It's so now I got to replace the roll on it. I did replace the arm. Uh, so use the same arm so I can just move it and this is made out of tougher plastic I had this is actually like a Teflon uh, I think it's Teflon it, it's definitely more rigid than the other plastic but as you can see that's great it's cutting faster and cutting more even except it cut through the roll so I uh, gotta pay attention Try to get other work done and let it sit there and roll. And when I came back, uh, I rolled it off no problem. Didn't notice that because the other cut was here. But then I started having problems on this piece because it was throwing it off angle because it was cut through. So uh this definitely works it'll probably work on other materials this is about the toughest thing i could cut on it so if i'm working on a small cap or something i can roll the material on this and just use it to cut it nice and even the right width so it's going to be a handy thing to have um, but not if it's cutting through the roll or the part of the machine I need some kind of stop on it, I think. 